Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? Yes, welcome back to Free Power. Hey, listen, um, I'm feeling better than I did the other day when I put my video out. The last video I put out, I wasn't feeling too great. Um, but now I'm back on the charge. So, and got some good news. So we are actually going to talk about, well, you know what? Let's get into this. All right, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. William Biz with Free Power, and we are going to talk about how Open Pilot is going to help you. As a matter of fact, um, you know what? Let me show this video because actually a lot of people were asking if they could get Open Pilot with LE, and this is actually what they said. This was brought out. Let me let me just show you this video. Would it be possible to get the launch edition with the common? comma AI unit already installed. Uh, I'd say un unknown at this point. Yeah, we, um, you know, it could be that we make it through validation and we start to test these vehicles and the comma system is very easy to integrate and hey, you know, some of the first uh, launch edition vehicles we can offer that with it, but um, you know, it's low priority for us. We want to get the vehicle stable. We want to, you know, prove out the, the mechanical and, um, you know, all the systems and electrical and firmware and, you know, way down that list is adding the comma AI system. So. Actually, it, it, it you might even say that is a little bit of a supply issue and that we want to get the right uh, column uh, that can uh, that can control the mm -hmm. electric EPS. And so being able to buy that at our volumes is, you know, that's going to be the, the challenge. Um. <clears throat> so as Chris and Steve was bringing out, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to get the open pilot with the LE. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Um, but you know what? I was looking on the website the other day and I saw this. This is really piqued my interest because I went ahead and jumped on board for it immediately. And let me scroll down and show you exactly what happened um, because uh, this was really nice. Uh, this is something that was added. Right here, Open Pilot. For those who don't know what Open Pilot is, it'll tell you right here on the side. An added adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and forward cruise and forward collision warning. So uh, this is like a um, driver assist where you, when you turn it on, it will actually drive for you pretty much. So you still have to pay attention. And I have another video that goes into more detail about that. So we're going to talk about that as well. Um, but um, it's it's actually awesome. This is game changer that you can actually go ahead and order that now. Now, you can't get it with the LE. So those who are getting their LE, that's more than likely not going to happen. I'm not going to say impossible. I'm just going to say more than likely it's not going to happen. But anyway, um, yeah, let me let me show you this video. This guy who actually has it, and he showed what it was like to drive with the open pilot engaged. And he actually compared it to the driving assist that actually comes with the car. Um, so let's look at that. And then there are three other versions of the software run by small communities of developers. So I am currently running what is called Sunny Pilot. So you can see in the upper left of your screen is the car without the comma 3X. And down below it is the car with the comma 3X. But you can see just how well it actually performs on these twisty, turny Connecticut roads. You can see it really putting in some angle here in this turn. You can see when I do take control, that box around the screen disappears. Now, when it comes to turns with the Comma 3X, as it stands right now, you have to manually handle turns, which is fine. There are experimental versions of the software that will do full self-driving, meaning you put in an address and it will take you there. It will handle all the navigation and turns and lane changes for you. But again, the big downside of Highway Drive Assist is you have to constantly nudge the steering wheel. 
and you can see around this corner here, Open Pilot did really well. Highway Drive Assist 2, not so much. I had to take control from the car there. And now we're on the highway where the system really shines. With Sunny Pilot, all you gotta do is just tap the turn signal stalk, like I'm doing right now, and it will just move right over. Now there was a little weird action that just took place there. That's probably the first instance I've seen it do that. But you can see both systems are really holding their own, but you can tell just by my posture that I feel much more comfortable with Open Pilot versus Highway Drive Assist. And I gotta grab the wheel again. But I've done probably over 100 miles on the highway now and the system performs flawlessly. Um, never had any major issues in the last two weeks that I've been using it. It's made highway driving chill, just like they claim it will. All right, you can see why Open Pilot is so good. First of all, Open Pilot is an open source advanced driver assist system that works on 250 car models. And so the things that it does is pretty amazing. It has automated lane centering, adaptive cruise control, lane change assist, driver monitoring. So, I mean, there's just so many things that Open Pilot really does that's really good, if, especially if you're driving a long way. It just helps out in so many different ways. Uh, where you can relax more and, you know, you still have to monitor what's going on as you're driving the open pilot. Um, but as he brought out, it does have full driving capabilities. Also, another good thing about open pilot is that it's a, a modern machine learning. It has that capability as well. Uh, it contains state of the art neural network that understands the road scene and predicts where to drive so the thing is is with open pilot it continues to learn as it drives a lot like what tesla's self full self-driving system does um, and tesla they've actually already pretty much crossed the autopilot at level number four i believe uh, it's pretty much almost drives as well as a human and open pilot is basically going to end up doing the same thing. But this is really nice. He showed you how much um, open pilot and how good it is. It's um, I think it's fantastic that they're doing this and that you can go ahead and order it now for your app Terra. But tell me what you think. How do you feel about the open pilot device that they're actually adding to app Terra? I think this is wonderful, and he actually brought out, or Steve and Chris brought out, that there are going to be more changes coming to Aptera and more updates. So this is really fantastic news. I just love what's going on. I am really impressed with what Aptera is doing. And another thing about Aptera is uh, with the app Open Pilot, if you're going to order that, it's an additional $1,300. But I think it's going to be well worth it. And this is just something that I want. But as far as um, ordering your app, Tara, what you want to do is you want to come to this main site right here. You go down below, hit my link, and it'll bring you here where you can order your app, Tara, and design it the way you want. This is going to be awesome because with me, I want the 600 mile version, which is what I got. I got the 600 mile version. I might think about getting a thousand miles, but I mean, it just depends on how long it takes for it to come out. Cause I would like to have my app terror as soon as possible. And I may switch from 600 miles to 400 miles. I mean, it just depends. Uh, but I do want to get that open pilot cause I'm going to be doing a lot of driving. So I don't know. How do you feel about that? Give me your comments on that. I think this is uh, really game changing. But once again, like I said, hit the link down below. You could go ahead and design your app Terra the way you want. And with the solar package, you're getting uh, 40 miles of uh, range a day. Really helps out a lot too, uh, depending on where you live at. Hopefully, if you're in a sunny climate, you'll get that 40 miles of range a day. And if during the summertime, you'll probably get a little bit more. You may get up to maybe... Uh, 45 or even 50 miles of range a day 
And during the winter, or if you're not in a sunny climate, you may get only 20 miles of range, or possibly you may get up to um, 30 miles of range. I mean, it just depends um, in the winter time because the sun doesn't come up that often, or you may even get a little less than that. But even getting some mileage of range is better than no mileage of range. And then you can always plug it into a 110 outlet, or just a regular 110 outlet. You can plug your Aptera in and get up to 150 miles of range overnight. But either way, this is really going to be awesome when they come out with it, which should be very soon. And so I'm just going to say goodbye for now. Thank you very much for checking out my channel. If you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and to my patrons. You know how much I really care about you guys. Thank you so much for your help. But this is for everybody to learn about Aptera and how this is really going to be a game-changing vehicle when it comes out. This vehicle is really going to change the landscape of the automotive industry. But anyway, you guys take care. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day and we will check you out in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, shut up.